All right, so what are we doing today? We're doing something that's very popular in the Looney Jana, and that is to deep fry a lamb chop. These lamb chops are interesting because they come from a particular lamb, which you'll read about in my book at the table of La Fortessa, and they're called a Ziri lamb. They almost look like they're prehistoric. They have these like big horns and they're really skinny. They're quite um, interesting looking. And so we enjoy a lot of this lamb here. Um, so we're gonna show you uh, our deep fried lamb recipe from my book at the table of La Fortessa. Hammer time. So we suck uh, in the Do you know what meat? hammer time is? Hammer time, eh? Do you know what hammer time is? Tempo di, tempo di martello. No. Ham well, yes, but but no. Hammer, MC Hammer was sort of... Ah, sì. Yeah, you know, and they had like the funny pants and it was like this song, which they're going to play behind Ta us. Doing, you know. No, but it's he did hammer time. Well, that's why I said that. Okay, can we back this train up? <laughs> <laughs> We're already halfway done with making them and we've not seen... <laughs> <laughs> we have to explain to them what we're doing. We so, can't just proceed. we soak the the lamb for one hour in, in, in the milk. milk. So, do you want to do the introduction? Not really. Why don't you just tell them what you're doing? This is for what recipe? Look in the, the camera. The tell them, chops. don't tell me, tell them. That's for deep fry the lamb chop and we soak the, the chops in the milk for at least one hour. Why do we soak it in milk? Because it's more... Um, tender. Uh, tender. Okay. That's a good word for you to learn. Tender. Tender. Do you know what tender means? Soft tenero. Yeah, I think you should be a little more. I am. You, you have to be more tender with me. No, I don't. In the morning. <laughs> I'm your boss. <laughs> <laughs> so then we put it into egg, a beaten egg, and then we put it into breadcrumbs very gently with our gloves on. I think the glove idea is great. Right below, if you like bread things with gloves on, I want to I wanna meet you. The only suggestion I make with our lamb is since this lamb is very thin, um, you can give it a little pound if you watch our porchetta video um, where we teach you how to flatten meat. <laughs> Literally. Is it just one egg? Two eggs. Yeah, it's two eggs. It's just look at the recipe below. Really, Michael? I mean, Michael's like, give them the. I'm just like, just look at. You know, this is a free for all here. I mean, if you think this is an actual cooking show, turn it off because it's not. It's just sort of. You know, it's a way to kill like eight minutes. Okay, we're wrapping it up. Look at you can just pull your gloves off. It's like you've done an operation and you have clean hands. That's, you know, actually I don't do that. I'm gonna do that from now on. I'm gonna take a tip from you. There we go, we're sharing tips here. All about sharing. Sharing is caring. Okay, so let's make sure we're, we're still at about 350-ish. We just wanna make sure when it hits the oil, that it sizzles, and that will make sure that the crust is not soggy. In we go. Oh, I'm already excited. <laughs> I love fried lamb chops. I mean, come on, who doesn't love these? Again, you know, you don't want to crowd it too much. Um, you know, make sure that the meat has like room around it or whatever you're frying. I mean, donuts or I mean, anything fried should have room around it. Never crowd the pan. So the reason that these are going really fast and they're cooking on the inside is because this is a thin lamb chop. Because you want the outside and the inside to cook at the same time. When they're golden brown and they've been flipped once or twice, then they are cooked. Flip a couple times, maybe twice on each side, and Anywhere around five minutes, they're usually done. Use a thermometer to check the temperature. Frying anything under 350 is good right around 350 in that neighborhood is a good frying temperature. 
Again, always pay close attention when you're frying. You should not be distracted. Frying is dangerous. Those are my top tips. One of the things that you can serve these lamb chops with in the book, the smoked pumpkin, obviously, I mean, that's a no brainer. We have the roasted um, potatoes with garlic and rosemary, perfect with it. And honestly, not super difficult recipe. Bang for your buck, tastes delicious. All right, so this is a little plating lesson for everybody. So we use uh, Malden salt because you can see it when it's photographed. It's almost like confetti. Do you know what confetti is? No. You know the stuff that they throw like at the bride and groom and it's like paper? Huh? I have fact this, huh? The same word in Italian? Yeah. Confetti. So when you say like, let's try this, Leo. No, we're just gonna eat in silence. We're just gonna pick it up like a lollipop. You could do that, but yeah. we're not. He's like, no, we couldn't do that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give this a whirl. What do you say? Mm -hmm. Wanna try it? I already. Should we do a little lemon on it? Okay. Okay. We're gonna eat the whole thing. I can tell. Ready? Wait. Cheers. Why do you Dinchin. smell it all the time? Why are you smelling it? What is that? Hmm. It's so good. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, it's really good. Eyes rolling in the back of the head. So good. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> this, is so, mm. this is such a good dish. And the lemon is good. <laughs> Did it go down my top? Oh. Lucky guy. <laughs> I don't know. This seems like a good time to tell everybody out there to like and subscribe. Don't forget to do that. Thank you. And thanks to the people that have subscribed. We love you. Bye.